Islamist militias have been gaining ground in Libya. After taking over Tripoli and Benghazi, militants have pledged allegiance to ISIS and announced an Islamic emirate in the eastern city of Derna. Derna lies only 200 kilometers from Egypt's borders. The problem is that terrorist groups are coordinating together. The militants in Egypt admitted they're in contact with ISIS. They could unite together. What's happening there risks our national security here. Egypt is working on means to curb any IS influence in Egypt. This week, Cairo hosted John Allen, head of the International Coalition Against ISIS. It's also offered Libya's struggling military, intelligence and training support. But so far, no direct intervention. We reiterate our stance that Egypt is against any form of direct involvement in Libya's internal affairs. The public opinion here is divided. There is a heated debate between Egyptians. Should Egypt send troops to fight militants inside Libya or is technical assistance and protecting the borders enough to maintain the country's national security? Headlines such as ISIS on our borders are dominating the daily press. It has fueled demands among some for action. If we wait, terrorists will grow in strength and then infiltrate into here. We must hit them with our air force and Libya's ground troops. It was a mistake to leave them to strengthen in Iraq and move into Syria and now Libya. We should form a coalition with neighbor states and attack militants inside Libya before they become stronger. Opponents of military intervention say Egypt cannot afford another war. It is costly and will hurt our damaged economy. We should provide the necessary assistance to them and protect our borders. Our army is already fighting terrorism in the eastern border. Libya is a vast area with guerrilla warfare. If the army goes in there, we might not be able to exit easily. The debate continues. But the Egyptian president has made it clear he will not use military intervention except within an international coalition. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.